database features in Excel. In this demonstration, we will create an order entry and tracking system in Excel that rivals Microsoft Access. Faster and easier than Access. We start with Microsoft Access's demonstration database, Northwind Traders, loaded into Excel. That database contains several tables common to small business sales applications. Employees, product categories, product suppliers, products, customers, suppliers, orders, and order details. Native Excel is better than Access for some things. For example, leveraging tables and autofilter, we can create printable invoices in a couple of minutes. Leveraging Power Query and Slicers, we can add an inquiry over anything worksheet in minutes. How many beverages did we sell in Germany by Ann Dodsworth? And leveraging Pivot Table, Slicers, and Pivot Charts, we can add an interactive executive dashboard in about five minutes. How many beverages did we sell in Germany by Ann Dodsworth? But Access has many features not found in Native Excel that are foundational to maintaining data. Access handles more records, but if you don't have hundreds of thousands of records, that's not important. Access handles multiple users simultaneously, but if you are a freelancer, a sole proprietor, a teacher, or departmental data manager, that's not important either. But perhaps one of the things you like most about Access are data entry forms. And if you have orders with line items or kids assigned to classes, you probably like Access's dependent tables that maintain parent-child relationships. You may also like how Access keeps data sorted in indexes. And you may also need Access's auto number feature to automatically number the next invoice, employee, or customer. Tiny Database mimics those features to make single user database management in Excel practical. Let's see how. Load add in BXL TDB. And instantly start using the Dynamic Form. Dynamic Form is packed with features like it adapts to any Excel table. It incorporates the table's data validation. It can search for records on any field. It includes record navigation. We can add, delete, update, and print records. It automatically adapts to corporate branding instantly. We want to differentiate input cells that can be changed from formula cells that should not be changed. One way is to use Excel's input style. Make sure protection is checked and locked is unchecked. Now, apply the input style to those cells that can be changed. Dynamic Form will see which cells are unlocked and allow changes. Data validation not only keeps mistakes out, but it can help us by creating drop-down lists from which we can select only appropriate entries. We can also add input text to better inform new users about what they are changing. Tiny Database's dynamic form incorporates the data validation automatically. Dynamic form facilitates searching for records on any field or combination of fields. Navigate to first record, next record, last record, and previous records. Add new records, delete obsolete records, update changed records, print records. Dynamic Form does a lot automatically, but it can do more by adding the Tiny Database Application Configuration tab. Here we can restrict which options are available by table. Should we allow adding records? Updating records? Deleting records? Each order is linked to line items in our order details table. To link these tables, we go to our application configuration tab and in the hierarchy relationships table, tell Tiny Database that the order header and order details table are linked by their order ID. And in the dynamic form specification, we tell Tiny Database to display the order detail lines together in a list. Lastly, we tell Tiny Database to check for dependencies to prevent accidentally deleting an order header when detail lines exist. Now when we open our order and click the dependence icon, we see the related order details. 
When we add a new order, we want Tiny Database to automatically assign a new order number. To configure Auto ID, we go to our Application Configuration tab, and in the Auto ID specification, enter the Order ID field next to Orders. Now when we open our Orders form and add a new order, we get a new order number. New records are normally added to the end of our tables, but we want our order detail lines to stay grouped by order number and sorted by product ID. To configure auto sort, we go to our application configuration tab and in the sort keys table tell Tiny Database to sort the order details first by order ID and then by product ID. Now we can open our order and add a new line item. When we close our form, Tiny Database groups our order detail appropriately. With very little effort and just a few minutes of our time, we can build robust, single-user database applications in Excel. Finally, database features in Excel.